Thank you for that live report. Puerto Rico is reeling after Hurricane Fiona wreaked havoc with heavy flooding and power knocked out to the entire island. Now efforts are underway here in Western Mass to help. Western Mass News reporter Kristen Burnell joins us live with the latest. Kristen. Mary and Chris, there are significant ties to the Puerto Rico to Puerto Rico from here in Western Mass. Many here have families and friends there who they are worried about. I spoke with State Representative Orlando Ramos earlier today. He tells me that he and other local leaders are coming together to provide aid to those in Puerto Rico. We're trying to determine what the needs are in, in Puerto Rico. Uh, at the moment, um, we've been in contact with officials on the island, uh, just, you know, offering our support. Local leaders in Springfield are coming together to support Puerto Rico after Hurricane Fiona hit the island on Sunday. You can see the damage here in this video. State Representative Orlando Ramos tells Western Mass News he is working with Representative Carlos Gonzalez and Senator Adam Gomez to localize relief efforts. It's hard to tell right now what, what they're, what they're going to be needing from us, uh, you know, because it is still raining out there. Uh, they haven't really had a chance to, uh, to to really assess the damage. Um, so, you know, until we know uh, what, they, what the extent of damage is, we're just on standby right now. You know, they're, uh, they're continuing their, res their rescue efforts. Ramos tells us about 60,000 Puerto Ricans live in Springfield. He encourages locals who have family members in Puerto Rico to reach out to them to make sure they are okay. Springfield has a large Puerto Rican population, and there are a lot of people here in the city that are worried about their families and their loved ones. Um, and that's why it's important for us to have that direct communication to the Puerto Rican government. Springfield Mayor Dominic Sarno also released a statement on Monday, welcoming anyone from Puerto Rico who may need a place to stay in the coming months, as the city did back in 2017. He says in part, quote, as my administration did before for our brothers and sisters of Puerto Rico during Hurricane Maria, by taking on the most of our fellow Americans in need in the state, we stand prepared to do it again. Ramos tells us he is heartbroken to see the damage on his island five years after Category 5 Hurricane Maria hit. It's sad because we barely got a chance to recover from Hurricane Edmaya Maria from a few years ago and, and now, uh, now another one. We did reach out to Eversource, Westover Air Base, and the Massachusetts branch of the Red Cross to see if they are sending resources to help those in Puerto Rico, but they tell us they have not received a request for aid at this time. Coming up at 6, what's happening in Holyoke to help? Live in studio, Kristen Burnell, Western Mass News. Thanks, Kristen.